What's up guys, ViperFV here, and today today I have the VLOX V2 motors from T-Motor, and uh, we're going to be kind of just breaking it down, kind of looking at the motors, give you guys my honest review of them. Now, I did actually have the V1 motors, um, and those things were really nice looking. I'll show a picture of those on the screen now. Um, I loved how that little, like, it was like chrome, and it like sparkled when they moved. Um, some people didn't like them, some people did. I liked them, really digged them. Um, but these are pretty much the version two of those motors. So I should be able to give a really good comparison of, you know, if it's worth upgrading to the V2 motors or uh, just maybe upgrading maybe one of your existing quads to one of these motors. Um, because I actually went ahead and installed these on the Nazgul 5. Um, and it comes with these Emacs, uh, I think 2306 motors. Um, and I felt that the bells were kind of lightweight and they really were easy to dent. As you can see, I'm actually had to replace one of the motors because I did uh, smash on some rocks. It was my fault, smash on some rocks and damage the, the motor bell. Um, so I had to replace it with the motor. So I've been running it like this. Um, but when I then switched it over to these T motors like that, and we're going to go ahead and take it out for a flight. And uh, I'll give you guys my uh, honest thoughts if these motors are worth picking up. Just make sure that you like, subscribe comment down below with any thoughts that you think of um and i will try to answer your questions as best of my ability um but let's go ahead and get over to the flight and uh see how these motors perform all right so i have been able to fly these motors quite a bit and i would say they're actually really really smooth and even if having little scuffles in the trees and the bushes um i really didn't really notice it really affect the performance of the motor at all um i do notice that they do have a pretty broad power band um i have about a little less than half throttle and they perform really well well it's probably because of the high kv it is 1950 kv so i'd probably recommend having a really high amp 6s esc with these um maybe around the 50 amp range maybe 45 amp range as really a, a max on these types of having this high of a kv um as this thing punches out really 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 awesome uh, it's actually too much power i don't think you really need for anything unless you're maybe trying to dive or do something maybe it's a little, little higher and bigger maybe like some like big buildings i can see maybe having a little higher kv to have more power to get up um but other than that you probably might want to put a little bit of a, a throttle cut on the top end of it uh because due to the high kv it does make it have less efficiency than having a lower kv motor uh, yeah, so really th these motors do perform really, really well. Um, I don't have any complaints with the build quality, you know, five to six S the 1950 KV and the four S 2400 KV variants, uh, with all the different types of colors, uh, that you can see, uh, the shaft diameter is five millimeters and these motors do weigh 32 grams. So really just to give you my like really final thoughts on them, they are really inefficient motors, uh, but they do have quite a bit of power and they do have, uh, Quite a bit of fun. Uh, just remember to put a little bit of a throttle cut on the top end if you're running this on 6S. Uh, 5S, you might not have to do that. I think that would be probably perfect for 5S. This is more of like, I think a 5S rule motor. Uh, but 6S, it does work well. And I've I've ran some pretty high KV 6S setups. Uh, I think a 2700 KV 6S set setup. Yeah, so if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give me a like, subscribe, comment down below with all your questions and comments. Uh, but this is Viper FPV, and I'll see you guys in a future video. Peace.